Modeling Subtraction, Lesson 6.5. We can use models to help us check our regrouping for a subtraction problem. We have 32 minus 7. Do we need to regroup? Yes. We can see that this 7 is greater than that 2, so we need to regroup. We cross off the three tens, and it becomes two tens. We give a ten to the ones place. Instead of two ones, we have twelve ones. Twelve minus seven is five. We drop our two down, and our difference is twenty-five. If the number of the ones in the subtrahen is greater than the ones in the minuend, we can regroup a ten as ten ones and add it to the ones of the minuend. We had 32. We regroup one of the tens. Here's 10 here. We take it from the tens place and give it to the ones place. Now we can take 7 away. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. And it leaves 2 tens and 5 ones. So yes, we did it correctly. It left 25. 2 tens and 5 ones. That was the difference. Let's try it again. We have 68 minus 37. Do we need to regroup? We look at the ones place in the subtrahend, it's a 7, and the ones place in the minuend, it's an 8. This is less than the 8. So no, we don't need to regroup. We can just subtract. 8 minus 7 is 1, and 6 minus 3 is 3. We can check it with our models. We have 68 and we have six tens and eight ones, and we're going to take away 37. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Now we take away three tens. One, two, three. And we're left with three tens and one one. So we did it correctly. See? Let's try it again. We've got 42 minus 28. We look at the ones in the subtrahend and the ones in the minuend. This is greater than the ones in the minuend. So yeah, we're going to have to regroup. So we're going to take one away from the tens place, and the four is going to become a three. We give it to the ones place. So now instead of two ones, we have 12 ones. 12 minus 8 is 8. 9, 10, 11, 12. It's 4. 3 minus 2 is 1. We can check it with our models. We have 42 units here. We're going to take away 28. So we break one of the tens up as ones. See? Now we can take 8 of them away. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. We need to take away two tens. 1, 2. And we're left with one ten and four ones. So yeah, we did it correctly. Let's try one last one. We have 40 minus 19. We look at the ones place of the subtrahend and see it's a 9. And in the menu end, it's a zero, so this is definitely greater. So we're going to have to regroup. We take one from the four, it becomes a three. We give it to the ones place. Now instead of zero ones, we have ten ones. Now we can have ten and take away nine. We have four tens here. We take one of them and break it into ones. Now we can take nine of them away. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. See? Ten minus nine is one, and three minus one is two. We still need to take that ten away, don't we? We take that ten away, and we see we have two tens and one one. We did it correctly. Let's try some problem solving. Dave baked 48 cookies. 
He gave nine to his mother and six to his neighbor. How many cookies does Dave have left? So we think, Dave gave away two amounts, nine and six. So our important numbers here are, he had 48, he gave away nine, he gave away six. We need to find out how many are left after he gave them away. So our clue word is left and another clue word is he gave them, right? He didn't get them, he gave them. That means he has less. Gave and left are clue words for subtraction. So we know we have a subtraction problem. We can solve it two different ways. We can subtract 9 from the 48 and then subtract 6 more. We do subtraction twice. 48 minus 9, the 9 is larger than the 8, so we have to regroup. The 4 becomes a 3, and we give that 10 to the 1's place. The 8 1's becomes 18 1's, and 18 minus 9 is 9. Then we take away the 6. 9 minus 6 is 3, and we drop the 3 down. So it says he has 33 cookies left. We also could have done it this way. We could have added the 9 that he gave away and the 6 that he gave away to find the total sum of what he gave away, which was 15. Then we could subtract the 15 from the 48 cookies he made. 8 minus 5 is 3, and 4 minus 1 is 3. So sometimes there's more than one way to solve a problem. You can still get the right answer. There just might be another way to solve it, okay? All right, we're going to move on, and we're going to talk about doing regrouping and using pictures to help us, all right? I'll see you next video. Bye.